Hello my little bunnies, it's Mio and today I'm going to show you how to make this Hello Kitty made from needle felt. Hello Kitty over the years has become such an iconic figure of what is considered absolutely adorable and I decided today was a day to go ahead and show you how you guys can make your very own at home. And as always for more videos like these please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Let's get this tutorial started. As with all needle felting projects, you're going to need a sponge or a foam board and a felting needle. I'm taking a white colored piece of felting wool which I bought at Hobby Lobby and rolling it into a nice little ball. Position the wool on the center of your foam board or your sponge and with the felting needle you're going to poke this piece several times. You will notice that the more times you poke your felting wool, the smaller and the more stiff your actual piece becomes. I've so far formed the oval part of the Hello Kitty head and to form the ear I just took a strip of white felting wool and I'm folding it into a nice little triangle. Secure the shape of the ear using a felting needle and you can go ahead and position this ear onto the head you made earlier and with your felting needle just felt it down. As you notice here the ear is too large for the actual head but of course the more times you poke the wool the smaller it becomes and it will also blend in with the actual head. Needle felting is a hobby that takes a lot of time. Just to form the head shape alone that I have right here took about 7 minutes before everything fell into place. So of course this took a lot of pokes with my felting needle. The wonderful thing about needle felting is that it's very forgiving on mistakes and makes a wonderful hobby for any beginner. To form Hello Kitty's bow I just took some pink felting wool and I formed little bitty triangles and I made two of them so that they can come together to form the bow. The center of the bow is a little bit thinner than the outside and that's because I'm going to form a little small sphere to go in the very center. Just position the bow on the upper corner of Hello Kitty's head and you can just take your felting needle to felt it down. to Hello Kitty's body, I'm taking a large amount of pink wool to form the large part of her torso and I'm rolling this into what looks like a cylinder. I ultimately want to needle felt this into a shape of a kernel. So take a lot of time to reassess how the shape of the body is and what it looks like in proportion to the head that you just made. A general tip to make your Hello Kitty character really adorable is to make sure the body is actually smaller than the head. So as you can see here after I needle felted the body on, I felted the body to actually be a little bit smaller. You are also going to needle felt two little feet. All they are is just two little round white balls. And of course, do remember to position these onto the body so you get a rough idea of how large everything is proportioned to the rest of your Hello Kitty. I wanted to give my Hello Kitty a little bit more color so I added a yellow bib right underneath the head and I also made two little sleeves of her arm yellow as well and I added a nice little white ball at the very end to form her little hands. When you needle felt all the pieces together, it will look like she's wearing a pair of overalls. So to emphasize this, I took some baby pink wool and I felt this into a nice little sphere and I positioned these where the buttons would be on her nice little overalls. All you have to do now is needle felt the feet in and the body of your Hello Kitty is all done. All you need to do now is give her a cute little face. I went ahead and felted a tiny little yellow nose and two nice little black eyes. You will also need six little whiskers. All I did is take some black felting wool and roll it between my fingers to form a long thin snake. To make sure Hello Kitty's face looks right, you want to make sure that most of her eyes and nose occur in the lower half of her head. If you make it centered in her face, it actually won't look right. So make sure it's on the lower half. Once you completed felting the face on, your Hello Kitty character is all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. For more like these, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. My Instagram username is FlyingMeo. You can follow me there if you want. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I have a lot more video ideas coming your way, so please stay tuned. Good luck everyone and happy crafting!